Today, I'm gonna teach you exactly what you need and how you can make YouTubes, okay? Step one. That's all I got. Buy stuff. Just buy everything. Cameras, tripods, bipods. I don't even know if that's a thing, but buy it. Candy. Buy a lot of candy just for no reason other than the fact that it's pretty good. Candy's all right. Books. You can read books on how to make YouTubes or you could just buy books about how to cook food and then basically you just use that knowledge to not do anything with and then you keep it in, in your brain in a little storage facility but then it's pretty much just I mean you I mean really it doesn't I mean you could just I six and a half hours late Gucci handbags Louis Vuitton shoes goats chains uh chicken nuggets anything buy just things buy a lot of things step number two point a if you're gonna use a whiteboard get an eraser it, that should have been one of the things that i bought so i'm gonna go buy an eraser step two buying stuff find anything i mean literally walk down the street and find something take a video of it and put it on youtube you'll probably get like a hit or not kids are real popular so like little kids, if you have a child, it's great. Okay, if you don't, don't make one just because of YouTube. It sounds like a great idea, but it's really not. So there's there's little toys. All right, that's, it looks a little creepy. It's not supposed to be like a, a voodoo doll. Could be though. It could be, we don't know nowadays. These kids play with quite literally anything. Let's just say fire trucks. Yep, that's a fire truck. Other kids, watch on laptops. You have a kid here, his vision is mostly focused around that, not his parents, not eating. Uh, his nutrition is off balance. He is not drinking enough water. He has very awkward social skills at school, but he's still, he's trying to make it. All right, you can also do different types of videos. If you want, you can like think that you're funny and draw things. So we'll just do exact, okay, so that is, here's me. And that's the type of video that I make. And sometimes it's funny, sometimes it's not. Other times it's mostly just not. Um, doesn't really matter though. Um, that's that's what it boils down to with those. So you can do you can do travel ones, but you have to buy a ton of expensive stuff like a drone. Technically, you don't have to buy a drone, but if you don't, basically it means that you know you don't deserve credit for most things in life. Another good way to make travel videos, actually travel. Some people get mistaken with this one because they just walk outside. They're not actually traveling anywhere. Three, pretty much the most important step of any YouTube-ing, post your stuff. So post your crappy video on YouTube and people might watch it. Or like me, if you're anything like me, people won't watch it. And then it makes you feel really good about yourself. So you pretty much just keep posting and withering and withering and withering as you find yourself questioning not only your ability to make videos, but your ability and willingness to live with a society of people who don't think you're funny mostly uh, my family. My family thinks I'm not funny at all, which is fine. Basically, they don't watch any of my videos, nor do they subscribe. So, post your stuff. Step four. Post on social media. I don't know why that's all caps, but it's all caps. It's very important to post it on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, twice if you can. Post it on not only your Instagram story, but post it in your feed and your Facebook. You can now post that in your story too. It's, you wanna take every avenue you can to absolutely bother the hell out of anybody that you know and make them, almost force them to watch your videos to make you feel like you're actually doing something good because you're not. This is such a big one, okay? Step five is gonna be probably the most important step out of this entire thing aside from two, three, and four, which I also told you were important. Sit back. Notice it doesn't say sit back and relax because relaxing is the worst thing to do after you post a video on YouTube. You wanna do probably three things. Number one is check it. Check it about 150 to 200 times. Number two 
is you want to make sure that you're getting as many followers as possible. It doesn't even matter if they like your content. You kind of just want to make sure that you're putting it out there. Number three, if you don't have new subscribers every video you post or like more than one or two, you want to make sure that you're spamming your friends. And that goes back to the social media aspect. Post it on everything again to really let them know that you suck really bad. You're what you do and it's not good. So those are the five tips and tricks to make YouTubes. And if you're still confused, you can check back at any one of my videos and see how garbage they are. And you can actually feel inside how terrible you feel after watching them. So if you feel terrible after watching this one, give me a thumbs up, share it with all your friends. You can hit me up on Snapchat and Instagram, and it really doesn't matter because I'm gonna post it on there anyways. So you might as well just watch the video so I can stop doing this. All right, thanks guys. Peace.